Hello everyone, welcome back to Roll for Damage. Today, on episode 15, we're going to be making tavern tables. I know this has been done several times, and it's been done very well by many people. Uh, this is just my spin on it, and I'm going to show you all how to make everything on top of this table. So I'm going to start with cardstock, two, uh, 2 inches by 6 inches. I'm going to cover it with glue. I just use regular Elmer's school glue. And then we're going to glue our popsicle sticks to it. It's going to be five in all. You don't have to worry about getting the edges straight because we're actually going to cut all that in pieces off. We're going to mark them. Trim them. There's our nice, pretty, clean tabletop, so now let's scar it up, because this is in a tavern, well-worn, well-used. Uh, let's make sure we mangle up the little edges some. And I'm using an ice pick, or an awl. And I'm just dragging it down, carving initials into the table, chipping it, stabbing it. All right, and now I'm putting in the nail holes for uh, each series of the of the planks um, and I had blocked it so I adjusted myself so sorry but there's there's three series one on either side of the table and one down the middle all right so this is just purely aesthetics this has no actual val uh, purpose other than aesthetics uh, and I'm just gluing like little two by fours on the back of it just so it looks like uh, from the sides that the table is being supported All right, so let's build the legs. I built these out of some wooden beads and some flat plastic beads, and I built two two pieces. That way, it's the height I needed, and uh, it gave it a little more detail. Uh, I'm sanding off both ends of the actual uh, wood side and the plastic side, just so it would stick and adhere better to the cardstock. Next, we're going to make our soup bowls, and these are acorn uh, caps. These are real acorn caps off, you know, off the trees outside. And I just sanded the bases flat. That way they'll sit nice and flush on the table. Alright, so now we're going to make plateware. And I just squirt out some hot glue on uh, my pizza pan, nonstick pizza pan. And I'm using this instead of my uh, wax paper because the aluminum that this tray is made of makes that hot glue... Uh, dry faster. So let's go ahead and secure our soup bowls to wherever you want them on your table. I want mine on the same side. And now we're going to make the utensils. So I took a toothpick, cut it in half, lengthwise, so you have two split ends. And then we're going to cut that in half. Alright, now I'm going to take those two pieces and we're going to cut those into four because I need two soup spoons and then I'm going to need a fork and a knife for my plateware that is still cooling on the pizza pan. So cut them, break them. Uh, I don't recommend breaking them at first uh, if, if you can't get a clean cut on them. Uh, but then I'm going to go back in the pieces where the end that was cut, I'm going to hit with my sandpaper just lightly to kind of round off those edges. Alright, once that's done, I'm going to... The toothpick has a flat side and the round side because we cut it in half lengthwise so I'm going to glue the flat side face down and I'm just just dabbing just a little bit of hot glue in there just to get it to sit in the bowl to make sure I like the position that it's sitting in um, I sat mine at a right-handed position I'm, I'm obviously right-handed from the videos um, so I just made sure that anything uh, at the table was from my perspective 
right so this is my plate and we're actually uh, just rounding it off and then I'm gonna take sandpaper and actually smooth those edges where I had cut off and that was me um, putting a stake on top of the plate and I just did some random little shape and now we're gonna make candles for our table this was an empty pen that I had been uh, collecting for this purpose. And I cut off the tube into three segments. And be careful, just because that pen is empty doesn't mean ink will not come out of it. Um, however, I, I knew for a fact this one was empty. So I'm just going to dab some hot glue in the middle of the table. And then I'm going to set up all three um, touching each other. And that's me just feathering out some hot glue to make it look like the melted wax on the table. And now I'm going to add a flame to the top and I'm actually going to bevel those two lower ones uh, up to the top candle. That way it looks like uh, those two melted and the top melted over those candles. Alright, so now we're going to use, I don't know what this is called, but I know it, it makes it the pen stay up or down. Um, but we're going to cut off those little tips where it was split we're going to make our wine goblet out of this. So all I'm doing is I'm going to dab uh, hot glue on the base of it and a pretty good amount because I want it to stick to my hot to my uh, pizza pan and create a base for this cup. All right, we're going to let that cool. Let's make our fork. Uh, just use the pointy end of a toothpick and let's cover it with hot glue and let that cool. We'll come back for that. All right, so our goblet is ready. We're just going to dab this with hot glue. I didn't want to melt it with my the tip of my hot glue just because it was barely enough on there just to create that base, and I didn't want to warp it in any kind of way, so I just dabbed a little extra on there. All right, here's our fork. So I'm just taking it step by step, and I recommend that you, you don't get too crazy with it at first. Um, cut out what you think you need, put it up against the, the table or the plateware or whatever you're going um, to use it for. That way you could just slowly gauge your scale and how you need it to be. And as you can see, I was, I was pretty much double the size it needed to be. So I went back and I adjusted it. I'm going to cut it off. And there's our fork. We're going to put that aside for later. I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, coat of paint on it. I believe this was the first time that uh, I didn't use multiple colors on this table. Uh, or, an, or on a craft, uh, just because I was really enjoying the way this uh, paint was kind of sinking into that flat black beneath it, and it was giving it this really amazing different contrasting colors. Uh, so I just kept it like that because it looked old, looked worn and scrubbed, um, and I, I really enjoyed it. Now I'm going back and I'm painting our soup bowls. I'm painting these a different brown altogether. I believe this is called a woodland brown, and it's like a really light, almost acorn color, which was funny. Um, but we're going to go ahead and, and paint the inside and outside of both bowls. I put three coats on them uh, just because uh, this was a, a lighter color than the black beneath it. And uh, I, I just wanted a really good cover. I did go uh, and paint the utensils as well, just so it was an extra base coat. But we're going to paint those to match the utensils we're painting now. And this is actually a moccasin brown that I painted those handles with. And now I went back and touched up the soup spoons inside the bowls. 
and we're going to fill those bowls with hot glue after. I did not have uh, silver paint. Uh, fortunately, I had my silver paint sharpie. So I went ahead and I painted the metal pan. I painted the goblet. And then I took that same moccasin brown and added a touch of red to give it this weird um, off red brown color that you see now to paint our steak and our soups with. All right, so now I have those two little beads in the left hand corner. That's actually whole peppercorn. Uh, and I'm just going to, I don't want to coat them with solid uh, green. I'm just kind of uh, almost dry brushing them in a sense where I just want the upper raises of that peppercorn to be covered. And I'm going to glue those to my steak plate. All right, let's paint our candles. I'm putting in a gloss white uh, for the base coat. Try and hide uh, or combat that flat black that we have. And then I put, I ended up putting, I think, two coats of that gloss white on there. And after that, I took a the same gloss white and a hint of yellow I made a cream base and then added the flame to the top so what do you think guys I put the little kernel eye on the steak with using the same uh, paint of the candle silver tipped the soup, uh, soup spoons and here it is to scale on on my view it was directly perfectly um, lined up but but on the camera it was shot at a different angle so anyway I hope y'all liked uh, please subscribe make sure you click that bell to receive all notifications and let me know what you think of the tavern table build and any other builds you would like to see <laughs>